important to remind the world that we are winning against the HIV AIDS epidemic. We have been able to put more than 18 million people on HIV treatment. And we are seeing countries after countries showing that they can end the transmission from mother to child. We are seeing reduction in the death rate. It is not time to stop. The complacency should not be our worst enemy today. We should really redouble effort. We should make sure that uh, we build on this uh, successful result to fast track, uh, to reach our 1990 goals in order uh, to end AIDS by 2030. And it's possible. We should also be realistic. We are seeing in many places today a growing infection amongst adults. We are seeing growing infection amongst adolescent girls. Young women are facing a triple threat. They are at high risk of becoming infected with HIV. They have low rates of testing and have difficulty accessing and staying on treatment. We need to really take those new infections very seriously if we don't want to be surprised by a rebound in the epidemic. Prevention should be central to our effort in the future, but prevention should not be uh, working against treatment. Those programs should come together to really be helping us to use all the tools we have to end the epidemic. We need to go back, uh, take the life uh, cycle approach. And uh, life cycle approach means uh, that uh, children uh, should be born uh, free of HIV. And we should uh, keep them uh, uh, free, so they should stay free and also AIDS free. This cycle is so critical if we want uh, to reduce infection amongst adolescents and later on end the epidemic. It is critical to take AIDS out of isolation and make, for example, TB deaths a thing of the past. It is not time to stop our collective effort if we want to celebrate ending AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. AIDS is not over, but it can be.